I think we have us one. I think we have us a domestic love story out here. This thing don't went south. We did the damn it in Houston. We got a store clerk who was killed in South Polk, South Post. Oh. For some breaking news, a store clerk has been shot to death in Southwest Houston. The shooting happened on South Post Oak between West Fuquay and West Orem. That's where we find Fox 26's Domily Keith with what we should know so far. Domily. Yeah, the shots ring out here at the Ralston Discount Beverage Store around 12:45 this afternoon, leaving the store clerk dead. Residents here, excuse me, uh, family members rushed here to the scene. Uh, in a state of panic and they're actually just uh, sort of yelling something out right now as well I'm not sure what's going on but resident but uh, family members rushed here to the scene saying they were heartbroken and they could not believe she had been shot and killed Houston police investigators say the clerk suffered several gunshots and family members tell me Taikisha King had been working here about a year and loved ones say Taikisha was killed in a domestic violence attack although he beautiful sister Houston police detectives have not confirmed that detail. HPD will only say at this point they believe this is, quote, an isolated incident after a fellow co-worker found Taikisha dead inside the store. An employee arrived here and discovered what happened and called for police. That is so sad. I don't come here often, but I have been here. Very nice ladies that that uh, worked here. Absolutely a sad day for. He said that's a trans gentleman. I don't believe it. You know uh -uh. the family and friends of the victim for this community. Uh, any any type of violence like this is always an atrocity. Mm. Now, HPD is looking through surveillance video, and they're still looking for the suspect who shot and killed the store clerk, Taikisha King. Uh, at this point, family members say they definitely want justice for her. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, I'm Domily Keith, Fox 26 News. I thought that this was a story. I thought, yeah, I kind of thought that this was a story about, I thought that they said that she had a boyfriend or something like that right there. Family members rushed here to the scene, saying they were heartbroken and they could not believe she had been shot and killed. Houston police investigators say the clerk suffered several gunshots. Say that you think that it's a shim? It could be. It could be. Some family members tell me Taikisha King had been working here about a year. And loved ones say Taikisha was... Taikisha King? I don't know, but see, like, when they get to, like... The other pictures, that baby got a chest on him. Killed in a domestic violence attack. Oh, yeah, this is a domestic violence attack. I, I knew I knew what I was talking about. Although Houston police detectives have not confirmed that detail. Look, look, look. Oh, but they haven't confirmed it yet. So that's that's where I got the idea that it was a domestic love situation. Now, that looked like a darker Houston sister right there. That looked like a sister right there. HPD will only say at this point they believe this is quote an isolated say her name James boy, wild, boy, wild, wild. incident after a fellow co-worker found Taikisha dead inside the store. Mm. An employee arrived here and discovered what happened and called for police. That is so sad. I don't come here often, but I have been here. I don't come here often, but I do be coming around here. Appreciate you, sugar. But listen, I wanna know what what our sister had done did to go ahead on and get knocked off on the job. Got knocked off on the job. Mm-hmm. Maybe she was pregnant. Maybe she was pregnant. Didn't want to get rid of the baby. You know what I'm saying? It could have been that right there. Because, um, well, hell, they still have not confirmed that it was a domestic love. But they say that it was a domestic love. You know. So I guess we're just going to have to wait. We're just going to have to wait. And when they give me more information then i will bring you all more information um what was this i hear this was three hours ago hold on hold on surveillance camp we got surveillance no nah, that's something else woman shot multiple times while working oh wait we got 56 minutes ago all right bang Right now at 6, police trying to piece together what led to a woman getting shot and killed inside of a liquor store. 
Good evening. Oh, this was a liquor store she worked at. Okay. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman. Keith Garvin is off. He say, will it dudes get pregnant too? Like, Houston police say a liquor store employee discovered their co-worker dead with multiple gunshot wounds. This all happened at the Ralston Discount Liquor Store on South Post Stoke Road before 1 this afternoon. Show us the videotape. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan has been following this story since it happened and he's joining us now in Southwest Houston with the latest. Rowan. Yeah, Daniela, police are. I didn't know that his name was pronounced Rowan because it's R I L. One. I don't know where she got Ro from, but I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I guess. Now, Daniela, police are hoping to review surveillance video inside the liquor store here to try and piece together exactly what unfolded before the shooting. This, as you can imagine, is early on in the investigation. So police tell us that all possibilities of identifying the suspect are on the table. So here's a timeline of events. Officers telling us that they got a call shortly before one o'clock from a store, a liquor store employee who came inside to start working in dead finding their co-workers dead body investigators aren't identifying the woman but waiting for the medical examiner's office to do so but we know the woman's loved ones are on scene and have been for hours waiting to learn more from investigators now so imagine you just came to work to start your dog on shit but your co-worker dead oh jesus that gotta hurt you say that means fake that means phony uh um is you talking about his name or something like that Mm. Real one is how it's pronounced. Oh, okay. police won't say if this is part of a robbery, domestic violence, or a random shooting. They're just saying they're looking into all possibilities. However, they do say there isn't any risk to the community. Now, again, investigators are combing through the surveillance video trying to figure out exactly what unfolded. There isn't yet any suspect description, but again, they say the they believe that this is an isolated incident. Live in Southwest Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC. Damn, but we ain't got no more information than what we, damn it. It's been three hours and this right here was like 56 minutes, or something like that right there. We got to do better. We have no, no witnesses. We ain't got like a bolo out. We don't know who we looking for or nothing. What the hell we doing around here in this creek? Didn't y'all watch the video? Huh? Give us some type of description he had on the ski mask or she had on it. It could have been a girl. We have no idea. Move right along. I ain't going to even much hold you. That's just 